In this tutorial, in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at some of the basics of bringing audio into your production. In this case, we're going to look at music. And it's the music that comes packaged with Premiere Elements 2018. So if we want to use some of the, the music that's available right inside the program, how do we do that? Well, what I'm going to do is click on the action bar on the right in the music symbol. That will open up a list of all the music that's available. If I click on the bar at the very top, uh, I find that I have two categories. I have music score, which we'll focus on in this tutorial. And then I have sound effects, which we'll focus on later. So if I click on music score, I find that I have several categories. I have a category called ambient, and there are six options there. Atmospheric gives me eight. Blues gives me two. Country gives me five. Rock pop is the largest category. There are 22 options there. Urban gives me four, and weddings gives me five. In order to get to any category, you simply click on it. We could click on atmospheric here, and we find that we have the uh, eight options available. I can click down here, and I could click on music score and do show all to see everything. Now you notice that we have a couple things working here. We have some of these with a blue stripe on the right side and a couple that don't have that. These have already been downloaded to my computer. If I want to preview any of them, all I need to do is click on the right arrow and it will preview the, uh, the clip. If I decide I want to bring it into my production, I need to download it. To download it, I click on it with the right mouse button and I have download now or download all. And it will start playing, but when the download starts, it will stop. So we'll do that again and we'll do download now. And I'm just going to download this single clip. It really doesn't take too much time, but we'll move ahead to the place where it's downloaded. Once the clip is downloaded, I can then bring it into my production. I'm going to take it and drag, drag it over, across over into my timeline with my left mouse button. And I can drop it anywhere I want to in the project. I can hold it on top of a video. I can make it separate in part of the timeline where there is no video. For, for the sake of this uh, example, we'll just drop it right here and it's generating the file and now I have it from this moment on and I have several options that pop up. I can preview it which will let me play it just like I did before. I can choose the intensity. These are all instrumentals and I have the opposite option of going from very intense to more mellow. For the sake of this recording, we'll mellow it down a little bit. What is the fit entire video box about? This means that if I have a audio track and the audio track is above or below a video track, it, it will let me try to fit the audio to the length of the video. If I click this button and click on done, watch what happens. It shortened it. One thing I like about the way they've applied their preset videos is that they're what I would call elastic. Now one thing that surprises me is when I put it on a clip sometimes it doesn't start at the beginning. But I can take and drag it and match the video with the audio very easily that way. Now I've shortened the clip so when it starts we'll have what we expect when we move our current time indicator to the beginning. We Go ahead and play it. Okay, when we get near the end, listen to what it automatically does for us. It tries to do its best to be elastic, to decide how to fade out so it doesn't sound too bad. Now, we don't have the entire track here, but if we want to, we can simply take our mouse and we can lengthen it all we want, and it will keep playing and will not fade out at that point. We'll keep the volume up, and it will move for the entire duration of the clip. So we have the option of, of using this elastic. Now if we look at the uh, properties of the clip, we find that it's uh, uh, less than two minutes long. But if I take it and drag it here, 
for seven minutes uh, plus in length, it will still play. I can go ahead way out here. And what it does, it intelligently tries to stretch itself and replicate itself and repeat itself. And at the very end, it will fade out again. Very nice. You may not like exactly how it does it, but without using a, an additional audio file editor, it's a pretty slick, quick way to change it. And like I said before, it's elastic. So what you have is you have it fitting any size you want. You don't have to do a lot of manual editing in a separate audio program. You do have a couple options you can use with your audio files that are in your program. So I'll close the music area for now. And I'm here uh, in this section of my video. And so I can change the, uh, the, the balance up and down. If I just click on the yellow line, I can change it. You can see it's moving up to positive six decibels. It'd be really hot, or I can move it down to zero. I can actually mute it. If I want to manually make it go up and down, we're going to uh, make this wider so we can see better. What I can do here is I can hold the control key down on the yellow line, and I can add a keyframe. And I can add another one here by using the control key. Then I can move any of them up or down. So here I've gone to maximum volume at this point in time. I hold control, enter another keyframe, and another one. And um, uh, what I'm going to do then is take this one and drag it back down again. Take another one here, control and click with the left mouse button. And now you will see it, you will hear it as it becomes uh, quite quiet and then it jumps up very loudly. And then goes back to uh, a lower volume. So I can, uh, once I have these in here, I can adjust them. If I want to delete any of them. Uh, we'll put another one over here just for fun. Control click. And if I want to delete it, I, all I need to do is highlight it and press the delete key on the keyboard and my audio keyframe will go away. So you can do a lot of adjustment uh, manually if you want to with your uh, audio. Again, if you want to actually make it exquisite, what you have to do is use an, a separate audio editing program for your file. But if you want to use any of the presets, I like the fact that they're what I call elastic. They fit in very good to any production to give you very quick audio and you don't have to uh, do a lot of extra editing uh, to do kind of a quick and dirty audio file underneath your video in Premiere Elements 2018.